little peeps. So, the other day when I was building a system for somebody, I found a little hack that I didn't know existed. It might be common knowledge. I know the Nintendo 64 can be quite trouble for some for some people. Same this system is um, not got a graphics card in it. It's a um, Dell Optiplex 3040. That card which is running our onboard graphics. Now, so what we will do is we'll go to GoldenEye. Like I said, I don't know whether this is common knowledge. It's just some of that I never knew. So hopefully some other people didn't know it, and it will speed up your games a little bit so first thing I'll do is when I'm doing a system like this guy who wanted the system wanted mainly Nintendo 64 um, Dreamcast PlayStation and Saturn it was only on a small ultra small form factor Dell Optiplex not a very powerful one but brilliant little system for what it is what I'll do on every one that he wants, I'll come in here, heads up display, click on performance, and then let's go with golden eye because I know I'll set it at something that I know is going to be too high for it resolution. So it's on, no, it's basically on 720p. So I'll put it on this. I'll load it up. And basically, what that performance box will do is tell me how fast it's running. So it's a good way to see what sort of limit you can do if you want to do it on each game or if you want to do it per system whatever but as you can see at the minute it's really a lot of things as well where you, you look out for is it's, you'll get a lot of um, slowdown and audio stuttering really haven't set this up but a lot of audio stuttering the um, menus and stuff and then when you come to the game you think oh it's going to be you know running things but it tends to give you stuff on the menu the menus and then not in the game but anyway i'm going to start off where we're going and hopefully it'll pick up because i haven't got no sound i'm just turning the sound up so i can hear it sorry about that A bit jerky there, but it's not seem to be dropping much frames per second, I'm honest. Um, right, firstly, I'm going to create a save state there, so it's Xbox One and X. I've created a save state. The next thing, I'm going to go into my controls because I didn't save them last time, so I want that as that. That is that. Um, that is that. And that is that. For those who didn't know, if you press your Xbox button and your green button, you can come in here and change the thing. Because I know when you first put Golden Eye on, because of the way the Nintendo 64. Just check. I want that as a Z trick as well. Because of the way the Nintendo 64 controller was. Let me just. Save that game in remap pal for now. It's <laughs> when you first start to try and play Golden Eye, it's absolutely all over the place and it's probably impossible to control. So you can just go in there and set up how you want to. So at this thing, what we see, it's dropping between 58, 59, 56 sort of thing. It's not really bad, which is obviously it's still a little bit too slow. So what I'd do then. Because I know you're pushing it to the limit. It's come out. Go back in. Random resolution. Drop it down onto 720p. Load it back up. And then we'll quickly load a save game state up. And because we've control, saved as controls just, it's still should be there. So, assuming now going to be a lot more stable. No, it seems to be dropping from 60 frames per second. No, it's a drop out of here and there. 
but it's still really playable, still a decent experience. So basically, with the with the system I built for the guy, I built it. I put in the, all the consoles you want on, and I came on and tested them all, sort of pushed them to the limits. I didn't want to leave them too high and, and get slow down in certain games, so I sort of judged where I wanted it to keep it at. Did that with Nintendo 64, put it as it was. And then I came back out. I took all the decorations off, blah, 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 which is advanced game options, decorations, edge up display, put it back onto auto, which is basically no um, performance box or anything. And then just before I sort of packed it up, I loaded the Nintendo 64 back up. I don't know why, I just did it for one last check. You know, he wanted F Zero and, and that sort of game, so I wanted to make sure. So, I don't know whether that's coming through there. We're getting a bit of order of stuff, Johnny. And it seems to be more noticeable on it, because this is a little bit more powerful, this system. So, it was a bit more noticeable on it when I came through here and sort of went round the boxes. They had that really bad audio. But... As I'm coming through there and sort of probably pick up round the boxes and stuff. And down here. Might get some stuff in that order. I don't know if it's going to come through on the video. On the video capture device. There's doing it again. Fairly noticeable. I felt like I was, uh, you know, I, I tested it all and I thought, you know, I, I've already been through all this and everything was running fine and I wonder what it was. So I, I come back out, looked at all the settings and I messed about a bit more and still, still doing it. So I come back in here again, advanced game options, put the decorations on, heads up display, performance, came back in. So I wanted to know how much it would drop and what sort of um, frame rate I was getting. So, we'll load that save game back up. Sorry about all this messing about, but it's just, uh... And when, when I was doing it on the Earth, there was the save state that I put out was in the, was in, through it, a certain state where I was near the buckets and, and the boxes. And it was dropping all the time as I was going through the bottom door. And it, and it did it every time I tested it. So, when I, Come, come back in, I put the performance box on, which is in the bottom corner, it stopped it from doing it. So then I thought, it can't be that, surely, because if anything, that's going to make it slow down, you know, surely it's ex some extra on the screen. I don't know whether that seems to be all doing something, and I can't really hear it much, but I've got my joystick reversed angle with a. So. But anyway, me turning the performance box back on basically made it run a lot better. So having that display in the corner makes it run a lot better. And it was more when I came through the ear. Have I got my button set up? All right, there we go. This is basically just what I've stuck on on my other build. I've got all the the button set up exactly how I like them on the building. But I tend to find it, it run a lot better. And, uh, the same place where I was getting all audio stuff to and, and, and lagging on the game. When I went and put that display box on, it made it disappear. So it was here, basically. We'll try save state here again. So save state here. And as I'm running around here, I was getting really bad lag, really bad audio stutter. Walking in and out and then column sort of thing. So, again, we'll quit out of it. I'm just going to turn my volume up. Open up the three. Go into the advanced game options. Decorations. Turn them off again. We'll go back in and load that safe state up there now. You can hear the stutter. 
doing it quite a bit as you're all around here. You can do it quite bad the way it's just exactly the same resolution with the box on it's not doing it. So basically you put the performance box on and it improves the performance. 100% does it as well. I've had games like on like F0 where I was getting slower frame rates. I put that on and I managed to knock it up a resolution. So um, yeah, I managed to knock it up a resolution. It was actually running better with the performance display in the bottom corner even though I'd set it up a resolution. You know, you can hear it clearly there. And when you open in that door. So, hey, up in that room, look happy we're taking 8,000 bullets. Come back in. Now, for those who don't know, if you come into your decorations, you go into your heads up display, you put custom on, and it makes it which I'm just about to show you. So this is basically still works the same. It still improves the performance, but it makes it a lot more smaller up in the top corner look, so it's not so much of a eyesore on you. But now if you notice, again, that audio lag that's there and the stuttering is gone. One sec. I hate, I don't know why anybody can play with the aim inverters. I really can't stand it. So, so again, when you open that door, there's no audio stuff there whatsoever. Well, I just wanted to turn that box off, didn't I? And, I'm, and like, like I say, with it as, as it is in the top corner, when you're playing the actual game, you can't see that at all, basically. I'm saying in front of my telly, we can't even see that, so it's not, not so much of a burden. But I played quite a bit. You know, I've, I've done quite a bit of testing with it, turning it on and off, and it does it all the time on Nintendo 64. So then we've got a bit of a lesser system like this, I haven't got a graphics card in. And got my aim set up right. That moves, <laughs> that's terrible to do. I've got it on the shoulder pad and it would be impossible. But yeah, that was who, um, I've got a bit of a lesser computer like this. It gives you a massive performance boost and it makes it a lot more playable and a lot more enjoyable. Like when I had it off, when you had it off, or coming down here, I'm getting loads of audio stutter. When it's on, though, there's nothing I'm trying to bounce off at walls. So it's like chucking graphics onto it. And there's, there's nothing. So it's, to me, it's like pretty much a major performance boost. And that was on his computer that I noticed it. And also, this is a totally different computer. So it's not, it wasn't like a one-off. So hopefully, just a quick video to put out there, hopefully, some other people will try it and it'll um, give them a bit of a performance boost. I know on my channel I'm going to, just about to do an Atari ST video soon and I've basically, it's my main and um, FB Neo is 99% finished now, it's literally got a little bit of polishing up to do it, but um, for those who didn't know I'm like doing a, a channel, a build where I want pretty much every single game in my whole build to work when you click it. So I want 100% compatibility, which is going to take a long time. I've literally been doing MAME and, and FB Neo for almost four weeks, and I've literally gone through and clicked every single game. Like if they don't work on MAME, I've tried to find a different ROM. ROM. If they don't work still, so a lot of them have worked by doing that, putting different ROMs into different ROM packs and putting different ROMs into for the CHD files for the, when I do the, do the CHDs. But literally, I've as it is now, every single game in my main and FB Neo works because I've clicked them. Like I say, it's took me there four weeks, so I'll be doing an Atari ST video next just to finish the Ataris off. And then I'm going to do a video with MAME and FB Neo. So if you just, I haven't got a very big channel, I've only got like 50 subscribers, but if you want to um, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it and give me a like or whatever. And also, when I come to the main video and the FB Neo videos, I've got a lot of little tips and tricks on that. If you can't get your games screen rotated or your mouse isn't working on shooting games on FB Neo and so all stuff like that, I'll be I'll be putting quite a lot of tips on for that. So it's worth watching if you've got a bit of a building or you've already got an existing building, you just want some some ideas and there's certain things that you can't get working. I might be able to help you out bits and bobs. I'm not an expert on this. I've built, I've used Batsera a lot, and I've done a lot of work on it. 
I always say your main man to see if you want an expert on this is uh, Batter Sarah Nation. He's got a great channel. He's best on the internet. But I'm, I'm getting there, you know, I'm, I'm trying my hardest and I'm finding new stuff out all the time. And I've not seen this little tip anywhere else on the internet, so I've had a quick look. It, but it might be common knowledge, but I'm pretty sure it ain't, because I can't find it anywhere. But hopefully it'll help a few of you out. Thank you, and ta -da.